Hello and welcome to Jack's Hobby Station. Today I will be building, painting, and adding a whitewash to my Pack 40 for a Battle of the Bulge diorama. The parts are nicely detailed as this kit was made in the 60s or the 70s, but there was some bad flash unfortunately. And instead of building the figs together, I'm going to be molding them into shape for the same diorama. First, I start by gluing the cannon barrel, the breech, and the piece that the gun sits on. And after doing that, I board out the cannon barrel so that you can see right through it. And after drilling out the cannon barrel, I did some work on the gun shield by adding some pieces onto it and added Tamiya's putty onto some push pin marks. And after working on the cannon area, I moved on to the lower parts of the build and started to build the wheel and axle. I looked at some reference images and noticed that they didn't have the red reflective light on it so I decided to do the same with my pack gun and also left off the shovel. Next is two rear pieces that were used for towing and also to stop the gun from moving back whenever it shot.
And after adding the two main pieces together, I added the wheels and added some marks from bullets ricocheting and from white phosphorus using a heated knife. And after adding some more marks and a flattened tire, I started to paint the model using Tamiya's red brown and applied a second layer of JA Green, also from Tamiya. After painting, I started to make the whitewash, painting the model in white, mainly in the direction that the allies would be coming from. And after applying water, I used a Sif bristled brush to chip off the white paint. But unfortunately, I made the mistake of not adding a layer of varnish or a layer of hairspray like most people do. So after repainting, I added a layer of hairspray and painted on the whitewash. After adding the paint, I chipped it away using the same process as I did before. After chipping the paint, I painted the rubber and the scope black.
and after painting the gunner site, I painted the marks black as it would have been burned by the phosphorus pieces. And this is the end of today's video. I think the model turned out pretty good as this is my first time making whitewash camo. And unfortunately, I couldn't use any of the footage from me adding the scope and the pieces around it. But it was a simple and short build. But thanks for watching and have a great day. See ya.